chains, chains and chains, chain of fools, chains and chains, chain of fools. Now every day it's got a week late. It must be tea. Okay, do not remember the lyrics of that song. It is a great song, though. How is everyone? Welcome. Today, I do have my Facebook open. If you want to join on Facebook, please feel free to do that. If you want to join on Zoom or YouTube, on Twitch, please feel free to do that. We are streaming streaming about analog types hi shandy hi rani what is analog types it is a pattern some way that we behave sometimes without even knowing that we behave like that it is um Oh, I can see myself. I'm, I look so sad. Like I look so super not excited. And I really am excited for this thing. Why should I not then be more excited? I'm going to be more excited than I am on that thing. It's going to be all about today. I'm going to do a little, little different. I am going to do some, some um, different accents and stuff. So you can also hear how you can use your voice differently. If you do want to use your voice differently, you can make your voice harder like this. You can make your voice, you can make your voice a little more fry like this. Or you can talk like a lyric soprano like this. Or you can talk about someone that's really sad. Or you can talk like someone that's really sad. Let's share the screen and get some slides up there. There you go. There you go. Moving through. Every system is composed of three fundamental elements in a triad relation. That was some slide after. <laughs> Sorry about that. Giuseppe, oggi si parla italiano. No, si parla inglese. I'm sorry about that. The human mind is the expression of dynamic systems in constant relationship with themselves and with the environment. We talked about this a couple of times. Every system is composed of three fundamental... Hold on, because I want to have Facebook up on here also. Huh. Mm -hmm. And I actually can... So if you have comments or something, please write them. If you have questions, please write them. You don't have to get on Zoom. Oh, and now it goes away. Of course it goes away. Well, then you can't. Well, you can. Okay. Let's pull this one. First two elements, verse and inverse. De Manfredi. This is a rule for everyone. We have... Things that compose in three. First element, first two elements, verse and inverse. The verse, verso, is how I want things to be. How I would like things to be. And the inverse is how things really are. And the difference between the two is what we call perturbation. The distance between the verso or verse and the inverse. For someone to be, let's say, slightly happy or medium happy, the distance between the two cannot be too much. It can't be too distant. Your dreams, your desires, what you wish to be true and what, what, what is true cannot be too far away from each other. Otherwise, we're going to have problems and not ordinary problems, but we call um serious trouble if we really want to serve someone if you really want to uh kick ass and help someone 
You must be the appeasement of the perturbation of your client, or in a different wording, the reconciling force. Okay. Ciao. Hi, Angela. If you speak English, feel free to ask me any kinds of question. You can ask anything, anytime. Hmm? Is that okay? Okay, perfect. Let's move on. These three elements, parameters, they follow a law that's called the law of three or law of creation. They nothing you can do about it. So we might as well figure out how it works in ourselves and how it works in others. The sooner you figure it out, the better. Wholly affirming, active, wholly denying, passive, wholly reconciling, reconciling. Not going to go through that. This was interesting today. Someone told me, what if I had known, if I, I wish I had known what I know now 20 years ago. That's a little like this little thing that is in a cocoon and turns into this thing, tells itself, why didn't I go from this to this sooner? It, it can't be done. Like it can't happen. We do this stuff and we get there when we get there. What I wish for everyone and for myself too, is that when you go and say to yourselves, if I had, if I should, if I did, if I only, please move to the future. Move all that energy towards the future and visualize what you want to do, where you want to be. Go listen to Matthias de Stefano. So here it is. The present is the past of the future that you imagined. I simply adore that. Every time you go, unless you're really working on it, to stay in contact, to move on, to release some stuff, go visualize your future. Claudio is saying, thank you. Hi, Lucky, thank you. We're talking about past and futures, goals and desires. Tool to make the festival, your sales, anything, as smooth as possible. First thing, be happy about it. I listen to clients, oh, but the problem is I have a problem. My problem is, but you see, the thing is I can't just stop it. Stop it. I'm worried. There's a lot of worry going on right now. There's a lot of prayers for the Ukrainians. Pray for everybody. You know, Jesus, if you want to pray or if you want to send positive thoughts, Send positive and prayers to the people that really need it the most. Think about it. Who needs it the most? The ones that we call the bad guys. They don't think they're the bad guys. And for them, they're the good guys. But if you call someone the bad guys, pray for those people. Because they need it the most, probably. Huh. Nonverbal language. Look at that. We all know what these means. Kids, they're really good at not hiding their emotions until they grow old and they try to fit in. Because of this little word that we've mentioned sometimes now, ostracism. 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 It means the fear of being excluded from a group. In ancient Greece, it meant a temporary banishment from a city by public... No, I just broke my thing. I'm sorry. It was really nice, though. It was a little flower like the ostracism of true sight is. We learn not to say what we really mean. Do you ever do that? Say something that you don't really mean? Do you ever do that? Of course you don't. Oh, of course we do. And we have to sometimes. The personality, our mask, our armor, armor, no. It's called like your, your weapons. They're a good thing. But the thing is that we get identified with that role, with that mask, and we turn into it. And then we forget who we are, and we don't know. We don't really know who we are anymore. And we become like this. But the good thing is that this is going to change. When you know your nonverbal communication, this is all 
going to change. We need to listen to what people are telling us and use all our five senses to figure out what's going on. This is a test of selectivity. Oh, no, we do not want to do that. Three behavioral patterns. These are three, uh, three characteristics, three different types that behave very, very not in a similar way. If you have a shield or a sword or parental or an ego type, they, they behave very differently. If they are a client, you need to talk to them in a different way. If they are husband, your wife, your kid, they communicate in a different way. If you're a shield and they're a sword, totally different kind of communication. Let's go into it. Just to be sure that everything we tell ourselves, not everything, but a lot of the stuff that we tell ourselves is a belief, something that we've learned. Start questioning the crap that we tell ourselves in our brain every day. Just start questioning it. When I'm saying this to myself, is it true? Is it mine? Is it something that I feel? Go do some EFT if you want. I can highly recommend it. Mm, I'm offering free sessions now for, for training purposes. So if you want to try emotional freedom technique, feel free to contact me. Television won't be able to hold on to any market it captures after the first six months, people will soon get tired of staring at a plywood box every night. Bungus. And this is Daryl Zanuck. He's a producer for the 20th Century Fox, 1946. <laughs> well, you should know he, he, he was an expert, probably. You'd say he was an expert in his field. Are you listening to experts? Who are you listening to? Which experts do you trust? Who do you trust? Do you trust yourself? Do you trust other people? Which experts do you trust? Who do you listen to? Do you listen to people that say we're not going into the metaverse? Everybody's looking at their phone anyway, already. We are going to wear Google glasses or whatever glasses in some years, I think. I think that there is a world market for maybe five computers. Thomas Watson, president of IBM, 1943. Yeah, a lot have happened since then. But anyway, remember Igor Bingo, CG. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. Okay, I'm here to answer your questions about nonverbal and verbal communication. Anything you want to ask. Last one. There is no reason for any individual to have a computer in his home. Can Olson, president and founder of Digital Equipment Corporation, talking with the World Future Society, Boston, 1977. In 1977, president and founder of Digital Equipment Corporation said there is no reason for any individual to have a computer in his home. Ha! Oh. Who knows what statement is going to be like that 40 years from now? They've always been there, these statements. Maybe it's going to be, there is no such thing as aliens. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm, uh, I hope to live on a little longer so I can, I can be there to experience that. First type, the sword, paternal. What does it mean to be a sword type? Ciao, Paula. So yeah, yeah. if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, okay? And I'm happy that you joined me. Thank you so much. Hi, Igor. Thank you for, for being a fan. Love that. Sounds great. Just ask me anything. You can, you can chat it. You can dot it in a chat or you can just uh, come up and ask. Hi, Reno. Hi, Chester. If you are a sword, any shape or form that resembles a sword, something like this or this, or like a microphone like this, you move back on that. If you are this type, if you are what we call a sword, and we will see the behaviors later, you move back. So if you teach music and you have vocal students that are like, oh, I don't feel comfortable with the microphone, I don't, can I do it without the microphone? They are a sword probably because they don't like that. Any kind of object, obelisk, to figure out if the person is a sword, you can hold it like that in front of you. 
you can use a glass where you stick in a, a teaspoon, you stir it and you do like this and you can see if they move backwards or forwards. So if you're a sword, you move backwards on any shape or form that looks like a sword. How does a sword behave? A sword behaves a little like, look, at she's like, mm, 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 mm. hi, Claudio. Hi, Luigi. They're a little judgmental. They're a little commanding. And they can tend to criticize sometimes. That's what a sword do. A sword penetrates. It goes through. It pushes. It's ambitious. It wants to get there. That's what the sword does as an innate type. These are some of the gestures of the sword like this. That's what they express. If you are the sword, you move backwards. You do not like that, but it is what you express. Make sense? Hope so. Luigi, Sester, Rina, let me know if you have questions and if it makes sense. I know it's a little complicated, it's a little difficult, but we will get there. Next type. Go. The crown, the circle. These three symbols are very antique. The crown, the shield, and the sword, they're super antique symbols that have always been used. You find them everywhere, in every culture, every century, uh, the knights, the priests, even the Cossacks, Genghis Khan, you find these three symbols being a huge part, an essential part of the culture. You see them everywhere, even in coins and stuff, and in, in traffic, traffic signs. You know, that they're not like shaped like an octagon, octagon or something like that. It's a triangle. There's the stoplight. There's the pole. And, and the triangle is, is, of course, the shield. Upside down. Brown, if you move forward, you are not that one. We call it ego also. If you move backwards, you move away from the crown, you are that behavior. You express that behavior. What does the ego do? The crown. What does the crown do? So imagine who wears the crown, the king or the queen wears the crown, the prince and so on. What they do, they, they command, but they do not get involved. They do not do that dirty work themselves, let's say like that. Uh, they talk a lot about themselves. The more you're eager, the more you talk about yourself. They provide advice and they refer to themselves, but they do not get involved. If you have a problem, someone that is very ego uh, and moves back on the circle, on the crown, they're like, uh, call this guy or call that guy or call this person. They will help you. I'll tell them that I told you that you talk to me so you can call them. Yeah, Bruno. Hi. Hi, Alberto. Let me know if you have any questions, okay, about nonverbal language. I'll be happy to, to answer. Last, oh, the gesture. The gesture is this one. You're going to listen to what I say, and this is how we're going to do it. It's going to be perfect because I'm going to guide you. I'm going to tell you what to do. And last one is the sheer maternal behavior. If you move backwards on the shield, that is what you express as a behavior. So what you are, you don't like. It's like curls and straight hair. Girls that have straight hair, they want curls. And girls that have curls, they want straight hair. Or if, you're, if you have blonde hair, you want black and so on. The grass is always greener on the other side and so on. The gesture, the behavior, they're good people. They take care of people. They participate. They sacrifice, and sometimes this, um, the way that they help you, it can become too much, it can become suffocating, and it ends up being stressful for the people that they help. 
the shield needs to help someone, needs to participate, to sacrifice, to help, to feel alive, to feel they're worth something. But if the receiving end of this help is not appreciative, or after a while is not appreciative, the shield can get very frustrated. And then it can turn into something that suffocates you. What does that look like? Hi, hi, Angel. Hi, hi. Welcome. Yeah, let me know. Of course. Perfect. Wonderful to have you. Does it make sense? That's good. And it can end up with something like this. After all that I've done for you, this is how you treat me. I did not expect that. Hi, baby. I did not expect that. And it becomes a strain. It becomes stressful that they need to help you. And so if they would just let me do things on my own, just please. And then that's if you overhelp someone. Gurdjieff says that you should only help someone if they ask for it. You should only help with that single one thing and not anything else. Yeah, and it's very difficult for someone that wants to help. If you're on Facebook, um, feel free to, to write questions in the chat box and I'll be happy to answer anything. You, not anything, but some things I can answer. The gesture of the shield is this one. And they're just like, let's all get along and have a nice time and be happy together. Don't worry about getting these right or wrong. You will get there. As Madame Marie Curie says, have no fear of perfection because you'll never reach it. If you're watching from home or you're watching the replay, please stand up. Please stand up. You stand up. Yeah. And you just, you just feel your body for a second. Just try to feel your body and be comfortable in your body. Hold on, I need to move this around. And you can either close your eyes and think of an obelisk, think of something that's very straight and tall, or you can open your eyes and look at me. The first signal is gonna be the sword. And you will feel that if you are a sword, you will move backwards. You will move backwards from this movement. You will not like this movement. I'm gonna do a little here for you and a little here for you. Very nice. Hi, Riyadh. So I move this towards you. And if you are a sword, you're gonna move backwards. If you are not a sword, you're either gonna not move or move forward. I can also do this. If you have your eyes closed, just think of something very long and tall, like an obelisk or a tower, the Eiffel Tower. Just try to feel it. Figure out, am I a sword or am I a shield? What do I think I am? Sometimes shields think they're swords and swords think they're shield, but they're not. Hi, Viedra. If you want to ask questions about nonverbal, please feel free to do so. Okay, did you feel it? If you move backwards or forwards? If you move backwards, you're the sword. So you have that kind of <laughs> behavior. If you move forwards on the sword, yes, you got you like that behavior. So if someone reprimands you, you might say that you don't like it, but it actually kind of <laughs> otherwise people wouldn't stay in relationships that are bad for them or jobs that they hate or things that are, they would not be attracted to things that are not good for them. Next. Next signal, the crown should so just stay standing. And you can either close your eyes and visualize a sun or the moon or pizza, something very round, or you can look at my hand and I'll move it back and forth. If you want to do the test with your friends, family, you have to make a circle and it has to open and close like this pinching it pinches 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 if you move back on that 
you have a little ego tendencies. Don't worry about it. You can be more or less ego. Okay. If you have your eyes closed, just to visualize a sun, a circle, a pizza, something very round. And if you're looking at me, just look at that, my gesture. Okay, like that. Perfect. Very nice. Good, good, good. Oh, did you move backwards? That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's weird to you. It's not that you move, your body sways towards or away from. Very good. Last one, the, the triangle. So you stand up again. If you sat down, it was too early. You can either do it like this. Remember to keep your elbow down. Don't put it up like this because it can look like a sword. And you just swap it up and down. Swap it up and down like this. Perfect. Very good. Hi, Galo. Hello, everyone. Feel free to ask questions. Just write them in the chat. Or you can do it like this. If you move backwards on this one, if you feel that on the triangle you move backwards, hi, Mattia, you move hello. backwards on the triangle, that is your behavior. This is your type. You're a shield. So if you can, you can ask yourself, okay, do I like to help people? Um, do I have that as my mission? Am I a teacher? Am I someone that helps someone else to understand something? Do I prefer teamwork or am I very ambitious? Am I a one show guy? Hi, Japu. No, I'm, I'm, I, 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 oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand that. Could you repeat it? Mattia, could you repeat the question? Ah, uh, okay, okay, perfect. Let's take a look at some reactions in live situations. My job as a Khmer consultant takes me to a lot of different places and and different couples, but in the end, communication between partners is often the same in a lot of homes, unfortunately. And unfortunately, people do not understand that shields and swords, and if you do the Enneagram types or you know the center, we communicate differently and people do not get that it's like, how can't you how can you think that? How can you say that? Because they're that type. It's what this it's not what they're supposed to, it's what they are. And that's when we say you can't change people, and people still believe that you can change people, and you cannot change people. I want you to say that again. You cannot change people. Hi, Hamdi. Hi, CJ. Thank you for joining. Okay, ask me any question if you want. Sword. From customer to partner, I didn't do my homework for my next consultant session tomorrow. What do they say? The paternal, they're not that nice about that. It could be anything from, yeah, well, I knew you weren't going to go through with it or don't spend any more money on that thing because if you're not going to do your homework, what's it all worth? Or the instinctive reaction to the tidy festival is like a tidying festival, a method, really five categories. How hard can I be? You know, bring it on. They're ambitious. They can take care of it and they're in control. They want to be in control. They have a hard time letting go and let's get something done. Someone that is very ego that moves away heavily on the crown they will be like, you know, you, it's you, you signed up for this thing. I did not sign up for this thing. I got stuff to do like that. Or, you know, um, well, that's none of my business. You just get it done. That's what you wanted to do. You chose it. So, hmm, sorry for you. Hi, accountant. Hi, Alice. 
Thank you for joining. And if you have any questions about nonverbal, please let me know. And if you're on Facebook, feel free to write your questions in the comments. I am here for you. This is my time with you teaching nonverbal. Join in the group. Give me a thumbs up for the video. Share your video. Share the video with other people. If you think they could be interested, if they work in sales, if they work with people, if they teach vocals, if they are career consultants, please share the ego. So anything from that ain't my business to today, you have to do this today on the exact day that I was going fishing or I was having a party. They tend to put themselves first. which we should but in a nice way hi sana hi three hi didi hi love thank you for joining and let me know if you have any questions instinctive ego reaction tiding session <laughs> how does it work they doubt everything how long does it take did anybody famous do it like are they in instagram how many followers do you have they can they're not superficial it's just a different it's just a different mindset no judgment can we take selfies while we tidy for my instagram my friend could need this i have stuff to do they these are the people that buy sessions for loved ones and maybe they really need it themselves too omicron how can you call yourself omicron <laughs> that's well the maternal the triangle from customer to partner i didn't do my homework for my next consultant session tomorrow what does the triangle say you know what you have been to you are you feeling okay and then i can i help you can i help you or do not worry about it i will help chichibella hi i will help you that the instinct if they talk to you like will you teach me how to do it well they want to do well we'll do it together right don't leave me alone i can't do it on my own be careful i don't want you to to hurt or strain yourself a couple of practical examples normal situation somebody drops a glass of water on the floor the paternal the sword what does a sword do it penetrates it kills it pushes through it's ambitious it wants to conquer and what does a shield do it 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 protects it keeps someone safe and that's the exact expression of these people and when they're together they attract each other but then when they have to live together they don't understand each other so we get attracted to the opposite of what we are but we express what we are and it's very hard for someone to understand and we really don't get it and it's so easy and we make it so difficult when it's just so easy if you know ciao ciao danila hi ferret i drop a glass of water and the paternal the shield goes watch out you have to be more careful more careful mia <laughs> that was a dangerous word you should take more care be careful watch out i like that glass that was my mom's glass or they blame you and they can be just mental it's like you're clumsy have you do you know anybody like that hi danina hi ferdy if you think about it, if you know anybody like that or maybe you're like that i'm not like that uh, i am like that you drop the glass of water and you have the nice shield person there what are they saying what would they say they say oh, did you hurt yourself oh did you get wet i'm sorry let me help you i will dry it for you do you know someone that does that and can you recognize yourself at what you do the ego is this world if the more ego they are the more they roll their eyes and just walk out the room it's just like i'll leave you to your mess bye so these are three and i know it's kind of when i first heard this it was like 
really, like three categories. Then I added the Enneagram plus the categories. And then it kind of makes sense because it's three per nine, which is 27. And then I added the centers of Gujarat, which are four. So it's three per nine per four. I can do the three per nine, that's 27. Per four is what, 108 types. But that's about it. You know how you meet people and they remind you about someone. It's because they have the same center, the same type, Enneagram type, and the same analog type. And if you know these things, you can talk to people differently. If someone is a sword, don't want to do this. You don't want to tell them what to do. You want to give them a shield. Let's call it a shield treatment. Hi, Teddy. Let me show you a couple of slides where you can, what words you should use with the different types. And that way, if, if you know the nonverbal by now, if you watch the videos of nonverbal, you will know the different reactions to whatever you're saying. If you use sword, let's call it sword language, language that will attract people that are sword, which means that you use shield language and they lick their lips or they touch their lips or they stick their finger in the ear or they touch the earlobe or they pull their hair back, you know that's a yes. And that's how you can figure it out. Gestures, handshakes, that's how you can figure it out. If they, if they say hello in a certain way, they're a certain type. Communication. Let's do all the words that you can use. Behavioral types, sword. You are talking to a sword, which means that they move backwards on any form or shape or word or movement that has, resembles the shape of the sword. Okay, I'll say that again. The sword person moves backwards. That is a no. They do not like, look at me. I can hold it in front of myself and I move back. They do not, you do not attract these people telling them what to do. So if you have clients that are like, I don't know why they didn't come back to me. It's probably because you used the wrong one. This is all free. This, you know, these courses, communication classes, one hour is free. Please use it. Hi, Pino. Hi, Jose. Hi, Luis. Words. Long, strong, high, hard, top, erect, firm, sword, stick, hole, penetrate, go through, insert, push, fight, cut. Anything that is hard, touch, and long objects. If you have the sword person in front of you, you do not want to use those. Do not use them. If you think there's some people that judge or they know, you know, don't tell them what to do. Don't if you want them as a client. If you want them to back off, you can do that. Use objects to figure it out. You no, know? and just sit there with your pen. I've done this for 10 years and I can't even not do it. On 10 years, don't know why on 10 years. Well, anyway. Crown. These are people that are attracted to the circle, to the crown, not people that move away. So you move forward on one, backwards on two, or forward on one, backwards on one, and still on one. It depends if you're a parental or non-parental type. More about that next time. Crown, round, moon. These are the words that you want to use to figure out if people are attracted to the crown and you tell them what to do because they're attracted to the ego behavior. Like I am the center of the universe. If, if, if let's say someone tells me I am the center of the universe, well, good for you. Uh, it's not for me, but someone else will be attracted to that. Round. Moon, sun, egg, circular, roundabout, crown, hole, ball, 
Hi, Jack. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you for participating. Pina, Morat. Round objects, circular touch. You want to touch people like this. Pinch. Some people, the people that are stimulated, are attracted to sword, you want to just, hi, how, you, how is it going? Last one with the words, and then we'll round it up. This is if the person is attracted to shield. So they are not the shield person. It's a sword that's attracted to the shield. All right. Paternal, maternal, shield, maternal, sword, paternal, crown, ego. The more your ego, the more you move backwards and the more you're centered on yourself. Shield, soft, warm, wet, black, bold, open, wide, open up, expand, soft touch, and triangular objects. This is what you want to use. These are the three. Be aware that if your mother tongue has gender nouns, Italian, you, you have two different words for a car. One is female and one is male gender. Sword person, they move backwards. You do not want to use the male gender. If you can change it, you're going to want to do that. If you have the shield that moves for the person that moves forward on the shield, you use the female gender, the female noun. Let's do an example in Italian, paternal automobile. If you have a sword person that's attracted to the shield, don't use that. You want to use macchina. Makes sense? English does not have it. Danish does not have it. But Italian, German, all the languages that have noun gender in it, you can, you can use these things. And remember that opposites attract. How do I figure out if my client is attracted to the sword, the shield, or the crown? You have to be a little Sherlock Holmes, but you can do it. Or if you want to pick someone up at the bar or do something, what do I want in my office? Long rectangular objects. You can use pens. You can use anything that is rectangular. I have this. You can show them. When you, when you explain the categories, you can use these things. One client had a ruler before, and you show them the ruler and that the little tiny black dot lines are little tiny steps to, to the end of the festival. Triangular objects and round objects. And you, if you have a Zoom call, you can show them on Zoom. You can put it really close to the camera and you observe their nonverbal reactions. So pens, rulers, candles. Candles can be any shape or size or form today. Glasses, plants, pyramids, lamps, statues, plants, another time, spheres, art, table, you know, even the form of your, um, of your desk is important for what you want to come across as. Think about how, how many, like desk, how do I like a desk or what kind of glasses do you want? What do you want on your Zoom background? All three, but 57%. Hi, Black Chillin. Hi, 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 Cami. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, I'll be happy to answer, really. 57%, thank you. 57% are attracted to the sword, 38% to the shield, and 5% attracted to the ego. That's not a lot. So you do not want to do that ego behavior. Circular things, saying I... Accessories, what do I want to wear? These three symbols are constantly expressed in our clothing, in our jewelry, accessories, ties, hat, tie. You know, I mean, more sword than a tie is impossible. And you can you can play with it. I, I wear this because you can you can you can make a triangle, you can do this, which would be the sword, you can even make a circle like this. You can, you can use this in so many ways. You can use it for yes, and you can use it for no. All right. Hats, jackets, scarves, 
three shapes, rectangular, triangular, round. Look at people's glasses. I would never buy these glasses, never. Why? Because they have that shape, okay? I would never buy these glasses, never. Because I am, I do move backwards on the on the crown. If they have these glasses, you can use some circular objects, triangle, and triangle. If they wear triangle glasses, they're probably attracted to the triangle, and that goes for everything. Ask them what they play. These are sword people that are attracted to the triangle. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of like, oh, really? Yes, really. Even the music instrument that you choose of your liking has a say in it. This is a bipolar. That's how you can use it. Question to find your client's types. Just had these glasses arrive. Would you help me? Which ones do you like best? or your friends if you want to figure it out. I just saw this or that movie. Who is your preferred actor? They will like the opposite of what they are. I just read this or that book. Who is your favorite author? I just went to a cool concert yesterday. Who's your top musician? What is your preferred instrument? You can use, talk about before, if you're talking about the sentimental category, you can show them something round, or you can show them something rectangular, to figure it out. Very important when you talk to clients, if, if you're someone that's like, why did they not come back to me? Just wrong communication. Just, just it's not, there's nothing wrong with you, with your service, with your pricing. It's just that you didn't communicate the way that they like to be talked to. The different nonverbal, you need to apply those like smiling, analog kiss, and so on. And clients say, we'll get back to you. They will. Okay, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and share it with someone that you care about. And join next time. It will be on Thursday, the 24th of March at 6 o'clock Rome time, which is 11 a.m. New York. And looking forward to seeing you in the future. And bye-bye. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.